What is going on guys? Welcome to the PC350 from Sennheiser. This is the full-on review for which you have subscribed. So stay tuned after this short intro. So for this headset, the PC350, this is the special edition from Sennheiser, we as always start at the bottom of the device, we have the pink and green as usual 3.5mm stereo jack. This means this is stereo powered, not 7.1 or 7.1 simulated or anything. So gold plated as with always and we have a nicely rigid a uh, nicely patterned um, cabling we have uh, the sleeving this rough sleeving in in my terms so you can see that rough sleeving for example the Philips thread has and then we have a velcro that sticks all the cabling in here it's a fairly large cable so if you are gaming or a computer stands right beside you this may be a little bit too long and I wish they had included another short cable or an extension cable to decide whether to use a short or a long cable so this didn't came with this device looking forward we have the boom mic which is huge when it sticks to your side you don't notice it because it's outside your looking field or whatever but it does have a, a big booming mic and in any uh, if anything this really sounds good it in my opinion it's one of the best of I've, I've tried uh, Razer headsets I've tried uh, the, re the most recent uh, headset I've owned a few Razer headsets in fact and I do have to say this mic really works I used it in my commentary about the Nexus 5 which got a lot of dislikes because of the content not because of the audio quality because this audio quality really is perfect has an orange finish to it as you guys can see with the grommet which is to avoid any noise from the outside coming towards your microphone and ruining your voice for example your mother screaming that dinner is ready at the other side we have the same and we have a little screw if you care to open it to maybe I don't know replace it so this is uh, movable so you can put it right at the front of your uh, head I do mind that a lot of gamers out there point uh, this directly onto their mouth you shouldn't do this point it right below your mouth somewhere where you, the middle of your chin is because in that way you won't have any noise coming from you blowing out or you speaking directly into the microphone so for example the P if you speak that into the microphone which it will have a lot of air going through the microphone which will cause it to not to correspond with what you are saying looking at this side we have a mute button not a button but just flick it you can hear a click if I am silent it clicks clicks again and this mutes the microphone which is in my opinion a great feature because for example you go downstairs you don't want anyone to hear what you are doing downstairs you just flick it at the top lay it on your uh, computer or desk or whatever and uh, it will be silent go ahead and replace it in front of your mouth and the microphone works perfectly my opinion one of the best features on this headset overall I do have to say there isn't a lot of weight to it and the PC 363D and uh, the high-end model which has 7.1 surround sound also have a review featured on this channel 
has a, a little bit lighter construction but this feels a bit more rigid it still is plastic but it it's nicely done pat plastic if that is possible so as you guys can see the hinges right here are aluminum finish and uh, it has left and right on it we have PC360 and the Sennheiser logo which in my opinion still looks professional because it makes me think of DJs so overall the feel of the device I do have to say that the plenary feel is comfortable wearing these for uh, plenty of hours at true games it does come in handy the padding is memory foamed there is a lot of padding at the top and it does fit comfortably do mind if you have a huge head this probably won't work for you there are headsets that have a wider range for heads matter but these are comfortable adjusting these is this it clicks but it doesn't have any type of indication at what stand it was in my opinion uh, a flaw on this device because if you are taking this on the go which is meant to be the PC 350d is meant to uh, go on lanyards and game with your friends so it is a takeaway device and every time you tuck it away you need to reposition it into normal position and then place it in the carrying cage which will be spoken to uh, in a second here so it would be nice to see for example if I have setting 2 that I can pull it I have a marker that says 2 on the other side same thing and it would fit my ears perfect way this is a minor detail because a lot of people just tuck it on their head and they let it adjust automatically because if you put it on your head it will slide away fairly easily and it will fit your ears so that was it for aesthetics and wearing comfort and all that so let's talk about audio quality the only thing I would comment on is the base the base isn't that great uh, there are a lot of headsets that contain much more base for example dr. Dre's but then again those aren't gaming headsets the reason why this is a gaming headset is because the audio is wide for that matter I mean if somebody is walking in front of you on the right you will hear the difference if he is walking right at your side so a lot of gaming headsets have a difference between left and right front and left and right at the back but not in the middle and uh, anything between that and this headset does deliver that the 7.1 has an advantage because uh, these have um, 7.1 audio but the stereo does, does work fine if you set it at a high bit rate on your computer it's fine for listening to music but then again I do miss some uh, of the spectrum when I'm listening to music so the feel is really a gaming headset with all gaming headsets um, I do feel that the audio is f totally different because of the structure the cones I don't know but this frequency response is really fit for gaming so for example the cutscenes in my opinion won't be as nice as on a $200 headsets uh, that are oriented for listening to music for example the Philips Fidelios but this does fit the job fairly well the wearing comfort the great microphone it contains an overall great package for gaming and the carrying case which I will discuss right now is a really big advantage the PC 363 doesn't have that because it's more of a gaming at home oriented headset and this is a takeaway headset how this works is it's a padded uh, case, it's it's fairly big, but then again, if you go to a lanyard, you probably won't be gaming on your uh, laptop these days, uh, or you are gaming on a razor, or something like that. We have two positions to put the ear cups and an indication on how to put the microphone and the upper right. You can tuck your cables right here, 
which is a padding and close it and it does protect it fairly well when it, it, it's fit it doesn't bend anything it's it's really a, a nice advantage over other headset that you get such a high quality carrying case with it has a little band to, to wear it because it's very big then again so overall I do have to say this headset doesn't bring the exact uh, spectrum of the audio quality uh, in comparison with high-end um, um, headsets but it does deliver in gaming if you are a gaming person looking for a headset I do recommend these these really are on par if not beyond Razer headsets for example the microphone is beyond Razer types because the microphone really does work and the cone represents audio like it should be if you are gaming so that was it guys this this wraps up my review of the sennheiser 350 i will get back to you as soon as possible because we have plenty of headsets and other cool stuff coming to this uh, channel so please stay tuned subscribe for more commenting will get you a cookie and liking this video will get you a date with Pamela Anson. Bye.